Hello. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents some very basic crochet beginner stuff. All right. Let's put that off to the side so that it's more plain on the background. Today's little mini lesson is for the beginners like me who didn't know where to start. Last time we talked about doing a slip knot. I'm going to do a slip knot again. That one has a very more detailed thing and what you're doing and how you're doing it. Put that onto your hook. Also, we talked about yarn over. This is going to be chaining. Okay, that's the basic of any crochet starting thing. You gotta chain. Okay, we're going to yarn over, which just means now I like to hold my tail kind of out of the way to keep it from getting uh, getting squirrely on me. Yarn over. Take your hook, pull it through that slip knot that was on your hook. Now you have done one chain and then there's still one loop left on your hook. We're going to do it again. Yarn over, take your working yarn, pull it through that loop that's on your hook. There's two. If you're following along and you've done this, honey, you are crocheting. Pat yourself on the back and chain some more. Yarn over, pull through, there's three. Whenever you hear somebody talking about, you know, look at the, the first chain from the hook, this loop that's on your hook does not count as a chain. That's just the loop on your hook. You'll have one chain, two, and three. We're going to yarn over, pull through, Four. Yarn over, pull through, and lose your hook space because you're looking through a viewfinder and not at your work. Five. It happens. If it comes out, find it, put it back. It's okay. It's not an exact science. People mess up all the time. You know what? I am people. I mess up all the time. <laughs> you can mess up right along with me. It's okay. We'll learn together. Now look at this. We've got a chain. Okay? How do we end this so that it doesn't pull out? Now I'm going to show you something. You'll often hear crochet people talk about frogging. What in the blasted is frogging, right? Well, people say frogging because sometimes you mess up and you have to rip it out. Rip it, rip it, rip it. Sounds like a ribbit, 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 which is kind of frog-like. Hey, I didn't make it up. You know, don't shoot the messenger. What happens if this is not what I wanted to do and I messed up? Take out your hook, set it down in a safe place so you don't drop it in the couch cushions and lose it. Been there, done that. Grab one side of your work. Bink. Three, four, five. And we can rip it out all the way to the slip knot. Look, we've done nothing. I know nothing. I've done nothing. I'm going to start this one over again, though, because we are actually going to finish a chain. Let's tighten that sucker up around there. Now generally when you're starting something you will hear people say make sure your first chain is a little bit loose because you got to crochet into it and we'll get into why afterwards but that first chain that initial chain which is what we're doing now can be a little bit loose. Got the slip knot, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through that loop on the hook. Again with the yarn over, pull through. Four. Yarn over, pull through, that's five. Yarn over, pull through, that's six. Yarn over, pull through, that's seven. Yarn over, pull through, that's eight. Yarn over, pull through, that's nine. Yarn over, pull through, that's ten. You know what? We're going to pretend that we are absolutely finished. I've got Ted on here. What am I going to do? Well, we need to cut and fasten off. So I need to get my scissors because I forgot to bring them with me. Slight pause. A moment for you. Five minutes for me because I couldn't remember where I left my scissors. 
and you don't need fancy smancy scissors although some people do say they cut better when they're cute uh, these are just scissors that I got from the school supply section because it has a little cover on it yeah you do you though it's all good okay now I'm done I need to end right we're going to cut the yarn set that aside set the scissors aside because we don't need those getting in the way I've got my 10 chains and I'm gonna leave my 10 chains so for the final step I'm going to yarn over pull through but keep pulling through till that cut end comes out and snug that down I now have my chain now obviously this isn't going to be the only thing we do this is just the very very beginning when you are a beginner like me this is how we start you can chain to your heart's content and then pull it out just for practice or we can uh, start some other stitches next time around thank you for coming by I'm going to be putting out uh, beginner tutorials sometimes not so beginner tutorials because I've been doing this a few months now and I've got a little bit more experience now but um, I am happy to help the beginner beginner crocheter because that's where I started off this year uh, get started don't be afraid try something new got my chain I could wear it as a ring you know I could make an earring out of it not, no, I'm kidding I'm kidding you do what you want with your chain although I never throw away yarn this since I probably don't really have another use for it will end up in my bag of little teeny scraps to get to stuff into animagurumis little stuffed animals that will come later thank you again for stopping by please hit that like button hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time with a little bit of a beginner crochet tutorial bye now